So today, we are letting MLB The Show predict the offseason. Trades, free agent signings, whatever happens, happens. And I think in real life, we're going to see a pretty hectic offseason. We might see some crazy signings, some trades happen. And I think MLB The Show might be able to replicate some of that action. So with that being said, let's hop into it. And of course, in the comment section, I want you to predict some crazy offseason action. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. All right, so what I've done is I've gone through every single team and I've tried to replicate it as best as I could up to date of like the day that free agency starts. So that is the 10th of November. I may have missed a signing or a trade that may have occurred. The most recent as I'm recording this is G-Man Choi was traded to the Pirates. So that is literally the most up to date thing that I have. So it's pretty recent. So hopefully I'm, I'm right on this. From here on out, everything has been set to auto the cpu is controlling every single action i'm talking the arbitration the 40 man the contracts every single thing like that and as you can see in free agency we've got the big names i tried to avoid doing qualifying offers like they do in real life because most of the time in mlb the show the player will take the qualifying offer it just happens that way and it's crazy so the two players that i did offer qualifying offers were jacob Degrom and judge mostly because they end up signing contracts that are higher than the qualifying offer every other player i just kind of left it because i feel like that way other teams can go in and try to sign them like i feel like it's going to happen in real life so let's see what happens here and i mean from here on out it's really just let's let's let some action happen let's see what first move max muncie to the mariners on a 10 million dollar deal i feel like that's a decent move for the mariners i don't know where he fits in but that's a big bat for them and i feel like they could use someone like that for sure the grom to the phillies oh all right so let's keep moving with this chaos because that was a pretty pretty big one right off the rip signing in the division jacob de grom i know the rumors are he is looking at maybe the rangers and a couple of other teams Rodon signs with the Diamondbacks. Okay. Jansen to the Pirates. Interesting move there. Rizzo to the Astros. They are losing Mancini and Guriel. So it is a possibility they could be looking for a veteran first baseman. Someone that does have a really good glove. Rizzo fits. I actually don't. I don't hate that. Eovaldi leaves the Red Sox. Goes to the Dodgers. And then um, what we'll do here is we'll, we'll do a little check-in. Kind of see what other moves have happened in free agency so any other big moves matthew boyd to the red sox i, I could kind of see something like that happening for sure and what other moves barnhart to the astros they are in the market for a catcher wilson Contreras is a player that they are considering i've heard some rumors there what other let's see michael fulmer to the mariners okay canable to the tigers hand to the brewers andrew heaney to the mets uh oh okay uh, what other big moves do we have? That's what I'm kind of looking for. Austin Hedges to the Cardinals. There's that Yachty replacement, a good defensive catcher there. But outside of that, I'm not really seeing Guardians for Chafin. I actually wouldn't. I, I kind of like that move right there. And it looks like we're all caught up. So, all right, let's let's kind of finish the month. See if we get any other big moves. Clevenger to the Rays. I don't see that. The Rays seem to be, I don't want to see, I don't want to say that they're selling, but it definitely seems like they're making some moves. They've let Kiermaier go. That was expected. G-Man Choi is gone. And apparently they are like kind of shopping some of their pitchers. And I know they've let some of their bullpen go this um, this offseason already. So this I don't I don't really see. But OK. Ooh. Ooh. You're talking about Tatis, Soto, Judge, Machado all on the same team. Ooh. Big moves by the Padres. Good Lord. That would be unbelievable. Taylor Rogers to the Cardinals, Kershaw to the Twins. That's an interesting one. That's a that's a that's a weird one indeed. I don't know if I believe that one at all. But Judge to the Padres. Holy cow! What other moves do we have? We have some prospects for some reason not getting signed, and they're going to new teams. Uh, Mancini to the Rays. I could kind of see something like that, maybe on a cheaper deal as a new first baseman. Let's see any other big ones. Shane Green, Josh Bell to the Cubs. There are some rumors linking Josh Bell to the Cubs. And honestly, I I wouldn't mind it. I definitely would prefer other options that are available. But Josh Bell to the Cubs, I, I wouldn't mind that. Seth Lugo to the Mariners. Will Smith to the Yankees. Baez to the Angels. The Blue Jays pick up Tyone. That could help them out with the pitching for sure. Any other 
big moves. Colton Wong, I actually believe his contract was picked up by the Brewers, his option. But I don't think that'll happen. Kodai Senka to the Dodgers. Okay, okay. And then I think Jack Peterson to the Rays. Oh, Giants pick up Jesus Aguilar and then Clevenger to the Rays. We've got the Mets bringing back Thor. I don't know if that's going to happen. I feel like that, that bridge is burned for sure. And I think we're now all caught up in terms of like the moves that we saw. Trevor May to the Dodgers, Duffy to the Astros, Givens to the Giants. I feel like for the most part, we're caught up, right? I think so. Yeah. Matthew Boyd to the Red Sox. So there we go. Let's, let's get through the rest of the month. And let's kind of see what happens here. Chris Bassett to the Braves. So he doesn't take the qualifying offer with the Mets. And he leaves, goes within the division again. And he joins the Braves. Oh, man. Holy cow. So it looks like <laughs> Baumgartner on the waivers. Okay. And I'll simulate the Rule 5 draft. I'm not too interested there. Gene Segura leaves the Phillies, goes to the Giants. I can kind of see something like that happening. I don't know if it's for 10 million a year, but I could see something like that. No, 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 no. There is no way this is happening. Trey Turner to the Athletics. Okay, for the most part, I've been on board with a lot of these signings, like Judge to the Padres. Yeah, that could definitely happen. A couple others that we've seen, but Trey Turner to the Athletics. Come on, can't, can't happen just can't happen just just no i don't believe it at all um has there haven't been any trades which i'm a little shocked by for sure but um yeah there's some crazy moves there vogelbach to the astros let's see what else we got we saw the trey turner move we've got mitch to the padres wow okay so they're really trying to bulk up that outfield that was kind of lacking for the last few years but let's see what other big moves do we have dickerson calhoun Carlos Martinez, who I believe is suspended and I doubt is coming back into the majors. Drew Smiley to the Giants. We've got any other moves that I miss? Cesar Hernandez to the Braves. Jerks and Profar to the Giants. Okay. And I think that might be it. I feel like we're kind of caught up. Tyler Anderson goes to the Cardinals. So he leaves the Dodgers and goes to the Cardinals. I think that would actually be a really good pickup for the Cardinals for sure. The Mariners end up signing Fran Mill. Zunino goes to the Marlins. G-Man does just stay with the Pirates. He goes to the Phillies. And I think I think now, for the most part, we're, we're pretty caught up on all the moves. Tommy Canely to the Astros. Segura. Zach Eflin to the Rockies. Chapman to the Blue Jays. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of prospects moving, which I really hate happens in MLB The Show. You would think that the teams would lock those guys up for sure. Odor to the Diamondbacks. And now I think I think we're caught up. I believe we're Andrew Hart to the White Sox. That would be an interesting one. Will Myers to the Dodgers. Trying into the Red Sox. And Grossman to the Twins. Any other crazy moves? I don't think so. I'm not I'm not seeing anything. Manaya to the Cubs. Interesting. Indiana native. May, maybe could happen. Omar Narvaez to the Red Sox. Okay, so yeah, uh, I was wrong about this. Oh, Martin Perez to the Cardinals. That's a move. Ben Attendi goes back to the Royals. Vasquez with the Brewers. Oh, so we weren't even close to being caught up. Voigt to the Giants. I thought we were close. Gary Sanchez to the Rockies. That's a that's a move I want to see for sure. And now, like Francisco Alvarez shouldn't be available. Like that should not that should not happen. Kiermaier to the Yankees. Okay, Brett Phillips to the Mets. And um, now we're caught up. Now we're caught up indeed. But yeah, th there should be no reason why prospects are thrown around like that. Xander Bogarts to the Guardians. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. I think the Guardians are going to be good in the next few years. And I think adding a bat like Bogarts, I think that's a move. That is a move indeed. All right, we've got a couple more months to look through. Still no trades, which is kind of wild. And uh, everything's... Like the norm, like the trade frequency is up and everything's on auto. So like the CPU should be hopping in and doing their job. But uh, all right, so no no trades. That's that's a wild one for sure. That usually happens. Abreu goes to the Angels, Jose Abreu. And any other any other craziness. I feel like we've we've kind of seen the, the big moves happen. I think now we're starting to get to like 
some of the the backup pieces the depth additions you know fill out the minor league rosters i feel like we're starting to get to that point because some of the names that i'm seeing i feel like we've kind of seen it all Greg kimbrell goes to the twins gallo to the nationals on a multi-year deal and i think that's it i feel like we've kind of seen it all frazier to the cubs oh i would hate that i would hate that so much no 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 oh uh, please no conforto to the white Sox, and i think that might be it i think now we've kind of seen everything i think if we're coming down here we're starting to see a a lot of like the the, the lower end deals like i've talked about so yeah i think i think we're caught up yes uh taiwan walker goes to the angels oh that's a move that's a move for sure and then yeah we're caught up now so now let's see who are the big names available dansby swanson still out there carlos correa brandon drury brandon bell brantley verlander pollock and i think that's that's kind of it i'm kind of interested to see where those those players go we should get notifications for them drury goes to the giants on a big deal he did have a good year but i don't know if he's getting a deal like that uh, with any team dansby swanson goes to the giants Correa to the Angels. I don't know if he's going to sign a four-year, $30 million deal, but hey, there's that. Um, interesting. I don't know about that one. I, I really don't know about that one at all. Um, okay, let's go take a look at each team individually. All right, so the Brewers, you can see they've done a little, little, little bit of action here and there. They brought in Vasquez. They brought in Tony Kemp. So those are the moves for them. Pirates should have g-man but they let him walk for some reason don't understand that one with the cardinals we saw they brought in a catcher right austin hedges i feel like that was it besides the pitching additions that they brought in diamondbacks odor you've got the rockies who we saw brought in gary sanchez doesn't really look like too much change there dodgers brought in vr along with will myers and i'd be interested to see what they do with cody bellinger in real life i feel like he might be someone that they look to offload I feel like his time's running out for sure. Aaron Judge, though, unbelievable. That, that's a big move for them. Like, that is huge. Tommy Pham is with the, the Padres now, too, after leaving Boston. Okay. Okay. Interesting move. Interesting move. Dansby with the Giants along with Segura. Actually, the Giants were pretty active. Segura, Swanson, Brantley. They brought in Aguilar. They had Profar as well. And didn't they, didn't they bring in somebody else, too? I thought they brought in somebody else. Luke Voigt. They've got Luke Voigt. Okay. Yeah, they went crazy this offseason. Holy cow. Orioles doesn't look like too much happened. We've got the Red Sox. A couple pieces here and there. Brandon Belt kind of being the main name you can kind of see here. We've got the Yankees with small moves. I mean, did they really do much? The Rays. Mancini. Blue Jays. I know they brought in somebody. Who did they who did they pick up? They brought Chapman. That was right. That was right. The White Sox, we saw they brought in Conforto. We've got the Guardians with Bogarts, which is absolutely insane. We have the Tigers, who really didn't do much. We saw the Royals. Ben Attendee came back. Twins, I think they went a little bit heavier on the pitching rather than offensively. They did bring in Grossman, but we saw that they made a couple big name moves with the pitching staff. Astros, Rizzo was kind of the big one, along with Vogelbach. But I, I think that's that's a pretty good pickup for them. And Rizzo, Correa with the Angels is kind of crazy. Absolutely insane. What other moves? Oh, uh, Trey Turner. Yeah, Trey Turner. Uh, okay. Uh, Fran Mill with the Mariners, but they didn't, they didn't really go out. Oh, yeah, they got Muncie. That was like the first move that happened. So, whew. Um, What else happened here? There was some... Oh, they got Pitcher. Mar uh, Marlins, not much. Bra uh, Braves, no. The Mets, not much either. I feel like they were kind of low-key. They did bring back Nimmo. That was really about it. The Phillies, you can see they got G-Man Choi out of free agency, even though he's with the Pirates. You've got the Nationals, who brought in Joey Gallo, which is kind of crazy. Cubs don't really seem to do much besides Josh Bell. Oh, they did bring back Wilson Contreras. Don't think that's happening in real life at all. Like, at all. Not a chance that happens. And then we'll quickly kind of fly through pitching. I feel like we kind of saw the bigger names, you know, the DeGrom, Tyler Anderson went to the Cardinals. But let's kind of see any other big, big moves that I noticed right off the rip. It kind of seems like players for the most part, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. I actually kind of liked what I saw this offseason right here. And um, let's see here. Tyone's there. We saw that move. Nothing 
for the Guardians besides, oh, Chafin. I think I think that'd be a good bullpen pickup for them, for sure. Uh, Kershaw here, along with, they made a pickup in Craig Kimbrell. Astros, did they do much? A couple bullpen pieces, not too bad. Uh, Taiwan Walker is the only one for the Angels. I don't know if that's good enough. I think that's pretty bad. I think that's going to be really bad. A couple pickups for the Mariners. I kind of like the Mariners and what they did. I really do. I think uh, Bassett's a good pickup for the Braves. You know, the Phillies went out and got DeGrom, which, I mean, that's a good one, two, three right there. Even Suarez at the four is not bad at all either. And so, okay, I feel like not too shabby. Let's kind of see where this plays out. Who does well? Who does poorly? And uh, we'll see who who takes who takes it all. I feel like there's a couple teams there. I think the Padres got a good shot. Oh, we have a trade. White Sox acquire Semyon from the Rangers. For Joe Kelly, Andujar, and Ploiecki. Glaber to the Orioles for Mountcastle? What? Some other small trades are starting to trickle in. Castellanos for Brooks Raley. Interesting move there. I'm not too sure that would... I don't think the Rays are picking that one up at all. Just I just don't see that happening. Now all the trades are starting to come through. At the at the deadline. This is when all the big moves are coming. Austin Hayes to the Guardians for a couple players, a couple prospects, it looks like. But yeah, now, now we're getting all the trades. None this offseason. Off season. All the trades are starting to happen now. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense, right? All right, Salvi to the Rays. Wow, okay. Don't think that's happening either. I just I just really don't see it happening. I just can't see it happening at all. All right, as we approach the deadline, I'm starting to see some moves that I'm like, okay, it's getting a little crazy. We're, what, there's been like 500 trades. Holy cow. And all right, I feel like that's good. You saw the trades. You saw the action. Now it's time to finish it out. Keep Ryan to the... What? Alrighty, postseason time. You can say you can see the bracket on screen now. So the Cubs made the postseason, but I feel like the rest of the teams on the National League side make a lot of sense. And on the other side, I can see all those teams definitely making the postseason. The Angels, though, I guess with the addition of Correa, I could see that happening. And they did pick up a couple other pieces for sure. But I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like the Angels are I, they're a mess. They're definitely a mess. Yeah, a uh, huge mess, huge mess. So you got a Med Rosario along with Brendan Donovan. Did he just like have a crazy year? 54 doubles, 54 doubles, almost hit 300, had a 383 on base percentage. That's pretty nutty. Triples went to Pena and Chisholm. You've got 48 home runs for Tatis, 44 for Meadows. Huh, okay. I mean, Tatis Soto, you've got Judge there. That's, that's kind of gross. Awards. Tatis and Soto, 1-2 in the MVP race. Trout, MVP in the American League. Castillo and Yanoa. Uh, no? 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 Like, look at Eovaldi with the Dodgers. Look at those numbers. Look at Max Fried with the Braves. But you go with Yanoa? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I don't I don't agree with that. I just don't. I just feel like that's not the right move. I just don't. Jose Miranda wins rookie of the year along with Cal Mitchell. And now it's just who's who is our World Series champion next year, 2023. Who is it? Who is it gonna be? It is going to be, once I can get past all these notifications, it is going to be. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever, huh? Because I'm controlling every single team. That's exactly why. This is happening. It is going to be the Dodgers or the Mariners. Dodgers or the Mariners. The Dodgers defeated the Cubs in a seven-game series. And the Mariners defeated the Guardians in a six-game series. So here, it's one-to-one. -one. Three-to-one Mariners. Are they going to close it out? They do. Mariners. Mariners with the World Series. Let's go take a look at their squad. What do they got going? So they did bring, it was Muncie what they needed offensively. Just that one piece can't be it just really of all those moves. That was the piece they did bring in Seth Lugo. I thought that was a good pickup. Anybody else? I feel like Michael Fulmer. 
could be a good pickup for them as well. Offensively, did they have anybody? Fran Mill, did he play at all? Not great. They have Kelnick chilling down here. I feel like... Okay, yeah, sure. MVP is... It's high France. Playoff MVP Kyle Lewis. He could be someone that gets traded. He could be someone that gets traded this offseason. I could definitely see that happening. But there it is. There's your 2022-2023 offseason predicted by MLB The Show. Some craziness. Some craziness indeed. I'm excited to see what happens. There's definitely some predictions. I would love to hear from you guys down below. Drop a comment. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like. And of course, check out this recommended video. I really think you'll enjoy it. That's really about it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.